Hello, welcome to Feasting on the Word for this week. It is May the 22nd, 2024. Once again, linking ourselves to this ancient rhythm and discipline of the church, whereby we take a, a little passage of scripture and really invest ourselves in it with just 10 minutes of time. That's all that we're looking at. The ancient name for this, or the, the name that it was originally known as in Latin was Lexio Divina, and the modern name, or the way that we call it, is Feasting on the Word, because it is likened to really kind of savoring the flavors of what God's Word has to say to us. So hearing it once is like taking a bite of it, hearing it a second time is kind of beginning to chew on it a little bit, hearing a third time really beginning to appreciate its flavors, and then the fourth and final time incorporating it into our lives. We update this discipline a little bit by using four different translations of the same passage just to hear it freshly each time we encounter it. We begin with the New Revised Standard Version, then hear from the Message, then the Contemporary English, and then conclude with the New International Version. The first hearing is followed by a minute of silence, the second another minute, the third by three minutes of silence, and then concluding with the fourth and final reading. The longer period of silence is intended as an opportunity to us for us to have a conversation with God called prayer. And so it's taking our impressions of this passage, how it is inspiring us, confusing us, uh, whatever it might be, and uplifting that to God in prayer. So I like to have something to write with and something to write on nearby so I can write down my impressions as I hear that passage through the first three times and then take those and use them as the material for that conversation with God in that longer period of silence. Let's jump into our discipline for this week. The passage is James chapter 3 verses 13 through 18, first from the New Revised Standard Version. Who is wise and knowledgeable among you? Show by your good life that your works are done with gentleness, born of wisdom. But if you have bitter envy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not be arrogant and lie about the truth. This is not wisdom that comes down from above, but is earthly, unspiritual, devilish. For where there is envy and selfish ambition, there will also be disorder and wickedness of every kind. But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits, without a trace of partiality or hypocrisy. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. Our second reading of our passage of this day, James chapter 3, verses 13 through 18, from the Message Translation. Do you want to be counted wise to build a reputation for wisdom? Here's what you do. Live well, live wisely, live humbly. It's the way you live, not the way you talk, that counts. Mean-spirited ambition isn't wisdom. Boasting that you are wise isn't wisdom. Twisting the truth to make yourself sound wise isn't wisdom. It's the furthest thing from wisdom. It's animal cunning, devilish plotting. Whenever you're trying to look better than others or get the better of others, things fall apart and everyone ends up at the, at the other's throat. throats. Real wisdom, God's wisdom, begins with a holy life and is characterized by getting along with others. 
It is gentle and reasonable, overflowing with mercy and blessings, not hot one day and cold the next, not two-faced. You can develop a healthy, robust community that lives right with God and enjoy its results only if you do the hard work of getting along with each other, treating each other with dignity and honor. Our third reading of James chapter 3 verses 13 through 18 from the contemporary English version with our longer period of silence to follow. Are any of you wise or sensible? Then show it by living right and by being humble and wise in everything you do. But if your heart is full of bitter jealousy and selfishness, don't brag or lie to cover up the truth. This kind of wisdom doesn't come from above. It is earthly and selfish and comes from the devil himself. Whenever people are jealous or selfish, they cause trouble and do all sorts of cruel things. But the wisdom that comes from above leads us to be pure, friendly, gentle, sensible, kind, helpful, genuine, and sincere. When peacemakers plant seeds of peace, they will harvest justice.
Our fourth and final reading of our passage today, James chapter 3, verses 13 through 18 from the New International Version. Who is wise and understanding among you? Let them show it by their good life, by deeds done in the humility that comes from wisdom. But if you harbor bitter envy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast about it or deny the truth. Such wisdom does not come down from heaven, but is earthly, unspiritual, demonic. For where you have envy and selfish ambition, there you will find disorder and every evil practice. But the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure, then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere. Peacemakers who sow in peace reap a harvest of righteousness. This is the inspired word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 